Okay, this next one from RD. Nicola and Trevor, the fraud continues. The Randall's 2.0. I can't wait till they make a Netflix series about you. Um, <laughs> I've had a lot of those comments lately. Your comments make you look sad and pathetic. It's sad that people throw out allegations like that. You're going to jail. I hope you understand what extradition's about. Um. Huge breaking news. The Nikola founder, of course, Trevor Milton, has been found guilty of defrauding investors. In this video, everyone's favorite real, real moron, real, real manifestation of the Dunning-Kruger effect itself, real, real dipshit, ex daughter or cult salesman, Trevor Meltdown Milton has officially been convicted on charges of fraud. Next step, prison at fucking last. Of course, not a single person on the planet should be surprised that this moron has been convicted of fraud. We all saw it coming, except the Dunning-Kruger effect himself. The hilarity of people having caught on to the Nicola fraud before his conviction, before even being charged, and Trevor Meltdown Milton addressing the trolls in Instagram stories, who are literally describing he will be headed to prison. So detached from reality, so deluded, so narcissistic, and so intellectually deficient that the guy didn't see what was coming, continued with his deception, continued with his lies, his misinformation, throughout the whole process, and has now been blindsided with these convictions. Congratulations, Trevor. You are literally the dumbest motherfucker ever to walk planet Earth. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, join Patreon with the card in the corner or the link at the pinned comment. 176 exclusive videos and counting. Just dropped some updates to my Tesla stock price targets and valuation model. If you're not on Patreon, you really are missing out. And enjoy the show as we watch Justice, finally being served. Huge breaking news. The Nikola founder, of course, Trevor Milton, has been found guilty of defrauding investors. Really pleased to say that our very own Ed Ludlow joins us now. And is this on one or all four accounts? Yeah, so ultimately, Nikola founder Trevor Milton has been found guilty of defrauding investors. He was found guilty on one count of securities fraud and two counts of wire fraud. One of the counts of fry ward, uh, wire fraud specifically was a transaction in which he convinced a real estate agent or a real estate broker uh, to sell him a property in exchange for Nikola options. So that's worth bearing in mind. But of the two counts of securities fraud, he was only found guilty of one of them, not guilty of the second. We believe that the count of securities fraud he was found guilty of carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison. But I think that the, the, the consensus among legal experts and based on the precedents out there is that he won't get anywhere near that. We're many months away of course, from sentencing, but astonishing, uh, if, if you allow me for a second, because this has been a trial we've been covering for a month. Yeah. It was suspended for 10 days because the defense team encountered some health issues, including mm -hmm. COVID, but the jury took just five hours yes. on Friday to reach this verdict. Imagine that, jury barely needing a moment to deliberate and find this moron guilty. It's almost like this was obvious and unequivocal and just a matter of time. The big question I have, will Trevor Milton serve more years in prison than his IQ score? That is the big question. I just don't know the answer. Over on the Financial Times, quote, Nicola founder Trevor Meltdown Milton convicted of fraud. Federal prosecutors had accused him of being one of the dumbest mother uh, Sorry, I think I misread that. Had accused him of misleading investors to drive up the share price of the electric vehicle company. You mean the computer rendering company. A jury has convicted Trevor Meltdown Milton of being an absolute dipshit. I oh, mean, I keep... A jury has convicted Trevor Meltdown Milton of defrauding investors by misleading them about the technology at his electric truck startup, Nikola, to drive the company's stock price up. Milton. 40, whose company briefly boasted a higher valuation than Ford, as I mentioned many times around that time, the bell curve is real. Before plummeting after a 2020 report by short seller Hindenburg Research called the company, quote, an intricate fraud, was charged with two counts of securities fraud and two counts of wire fraud. Each count carries a maximum sentence of between 20 and 25 years. The jury in Manhattan federal court deliberated for less than a day before convicting him on three of the four charges. Milton shook his head repeatedly as the verdict was read out. Now, I believe this was a real, real verdict, which has real, real implications for Trevor Meltdown Milton. I do not believe this verdict was a pusher. I believe this is a fully functional legal system. The judge denied prosecutors' request to tighten Milton's bail conditions and set sentencing for January 27th. Quote, we're going to keep fighting. <laughs> Milton's deluded lawyer, who just wants more paychecks, I, I didn't say that out, said as he left court. 
Quote, let this case serve as a warning to anyone who's as dumb as Trevor Milton, as narcissistic as Trevor Milton, and as stu- Let's try that again. Let this case serve as a warning to anyone who plays fast and loose with the truth to get investors to part with their money, Damien Williams, the US attorney for Manhattan, said in a statement. It won't end well. I feel like that guy's quoting me from previous videos discussing this very subject. Federal prosecutors and defense attorneys delivered diverging portraits of Nicola's former executive chair during the trial. While prosecutors described Milton was, quote, a con man who purposefully misled investors to boost the company's share price, Milton's very creative defense team described him as a gifted entrepreneur who built Nicola from out of his basement. Prosecutors told the jury that Milton aspired to make the top 100 on Forbes billionaire list and had used his gains from Nicola to purchase property in Turks and Caicos, sorry about the pronunciation, and a private jet. They alleged he made false claims about the company in interviews and the truck he presented at a corporate event, quote, was a giant paperweight that lacked a propulsion system. It's kind of like Trevor Milton being a giant moron who lacks a brain. Quote, this was an old fashioned fraud, prosecutors said. Quote, he lied to investors to get their money. Milton's lawyer said that while, quote, there were times when Trevor fell into the wrong grammatical tense. <laughs> get f***ed, mate. <laughs> Fuh, these lawyers are really earning their keep. When describing the readiness of Nicola's products, it was, quote, a distortion to claim that, quote, he intended to commit fraud, adding that, quote, the statements he made were cheered on by the Nicola leadership team. Now, in fairness, this final statement is actually reasonable. Some dickhead on YouTube is high most of the time was pointing out, uh, hello, uh, red flags, fraud, every fucking where you look. At the exact same time that Nicola's leadership team were allowing Trevor to go out into the media and say the things that were clearly detached from reality. No one stepped up on. Nobody said, hey, Trevor, can you shut the f up? Why would they? After all, they own Nicola's stock. This guy's the executive stock pumper. They're all making money and getting wealthier while this idiot's out there lying, deceiving, misleading, and defrauding investors. They argued that unlike some of Milton's social media posts, Nicola's filings to the Securities and Exchange Commission were accurate and therefore, quote, all the material facts and risk about Nicola were fully disclosed and available to investors. What a load of horseshit. Oh, well, the stuff in our filings was exactly accurate, so it doesn't matter what this guy says to the media. I feel pretty bad for Trevor's defense team. I mean, what are you going to do? The guy's obviously guilty as fuck. He's obviously a moron. He's obviously committed securities fraud. The best they can come up with are oh, some grammatical errors in terms of tense. Plus, all the filings were fine, so it doesn't matter what he says publicly, right? Nicola shares ended Friday about $3.06 above the company's true value. Sorry, I think I misread that. Let's move on. Down from $74.19. <laughs> And the bell curve. Oh. I tried to warn you guys, I mean, I really did. Shortly after it debuted in June 2020, a Nicholas spokeswoman said that, quote, the trial was related to statements that Mr. Milton made several years ago and that neither the prosecutors nor Mr. Milton questioned the company's promising future. More than a dozen witnesses in the nearly five week trial have testified for the prosecution, with the defense calling just one before resting. A Harvard Law professor, I wonder how much they paid, said professor, who told the jury traders were not influenced by statements from Nicola's founder. Uh, what? And tellingly, Milton declined to take the stand. You know why? My hypothesis is that Trevor's legal team realized that he's a moron. He's realized he's committed securities fraud, are doing their best to stop him incriminating himself further and decided, you know what? The less he speaks, the better things are. When you've got a client with an IQ of like 69 who thinks it's 169, a raging narcissist, completely detached from reality, I can understand why you don't want this moron taking the stand. Nicola's chief executive, Mark Russell, and chief financial officer, Kim Brady, testified against Milton. They portrayed him as eager to reach retail investors, reluctant to temper his public remarks and focused on Nicola's stock price. Talk about throwing him under the bus. When its stock price dropped $5 the first day it publicly traded, Milton thought the NASDAQ had malfunctioned. <laughs> Brady testified. Russell testified that he, Brady, and Nicola's top lawyer all threatened to resign in 2020 if Nicola's board allowed him to continue with the company. Milton stepped down 10 days after Hindenburg published its report. This is delicious. In closing arguments, prosecutors referred to a 2018 email from Brady, citing Theranos, the blood testing startup led by Elizabeth Holmes, who was convicted of fraud earlier this year, as a warning of what could happen if an executive misrepresented a product. But McCasey told jurors during the trial that Nicholas executives, quote, turned on Trevor and under pressure from prosecutors, sought to blame him for all the company's problems. In an internal investigation, the company concluded that Milton had made a number of misleading or false statements. Nicola agreed in December 
to pay a $125 million penalty to settle a civil fraud case brought by the SEC. The company neither admitted nor denied wrongdoing. Now I just want to share a couple of very quick clips that have aged extraordinarily well. Trevor Meltdown Milton, so detached from reality, so, and I mean so stupid, that he's on Instagram responding to comments from the trolls who are accusing him of what appeared to be obvious securities fraud, telling him he'll be convicted and he'll be headed to prison, and this walking manifestation of the Dunning-Kruger effect. So detached from reality that he's out here flat out denying any frauds happening, talking about Theranos, as we just heard the email from Kim Brady in 2018. He probably said, hey bro, check out this Netflix documentary. You don't want that to be you. Just no idea what's around the corner. It's stunning to see this level of detachment from reality. I can't believe the defense didn't argue insanity and or mental illness and or severe brain damage. Okay, this next one from RD. Nicola and Trevor, the fraud continues. The Randall 2.0. I can't wait till they make a Netflix series about you. Um, <laughs> I've had a lot of those comments lately, so there must be like some blog going on where they're like saying these things and all of them come troll me at the same time. So um, I have seen, uh, I did see the Netflix documentary on Thrones. Very sad to see what they, what, what happened. I don't know all the details of how accurate it was or not, but all I know it was a very sad thing to see. Um, I do know this, that their board had no industry experts on it. Um, Nikola's board is all full of industry experts, the top automotive groups in the world, a joint venture with one of the largest OEMs in the world. Um, we've had every financial group coming in here looking at our bucks. We're publicly traded. We're not privately held. That means everything's out in the open. Your comments make you look sad and pathetic because there's nothing even close or associated or even similar. And it's sad that people throw out allegations like that. One is, um, you're going to jail. I hope you understand what extradition's about. Um, I guess if the, my life is gel, <clears throat> maybe they meant the airplane. Maybe they meant the airplane is gel. Um, that could be gel. I like gel if the airplane's gel because I love to fly. I can fly all day, every day of my life. Um, yeah. I don't really know what to say about that one because I wish you'd just tell me what was wrong. Like what really made you mad? Was it because we actually have money? Because we've... Deli we're delivered on what we say. We're going to have a factory in 12 months um, that we have uh, orders, real orders with real customers, that we have a joint venture with one of the largest truck manufacturers in the world that we're going to be first to market with our zero emission vehicles. Uh, is it because we've created a company that's worth more than $10 billion? Is it mad because you don't have $10 billion? I'm really confused. Um, but I'll leave that one for later. Maybe you can update me on what you mean by that one absolutely incredible long last justice has been served the final question however exactly how many years in prison will this dipshit be sentenced to in a few months time leave your guess in the comments below and as i've been saying for a couple of years now trevor enjoy your freedom while it lasts my friend play stupid games win stupid prizes and it appears trevor meltdown milton is about to win the olympic gold medal in stupid games congratulations trevor you really did it you out Elizabeth Elizabeth. Well done, you fucking idiot. And don't forget to join our growing community at Patreon using the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment. I dropped another exclusive video this morning. I've just updated my Tesla stock price targets and valuation model. If you're not a member, you are really missing out. So see you over there. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all.